15 years ago, a majority of British citizens wanted to get rid of the royal family, while over here, the Republican movement was in full swing. Now, thanks to a couple of down-to-earth princes, a real-life fairy tale princess, well, Duchess to be precise, and a little future king named George, the Windsors are back in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Prince of Cambridge. It was the birth of a future king and the rebirth of our romance with the royals. Long live the future king. And with news that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are coming down under, some Australians are in a right royal frenzy. Very excited. Love to see them. His name is William. He thinks he's Prince William. It's going to be really good to have them around. Baby Prince George will be packing his passport, we think. One thing is for sure, if he does make the journey, it won't be in economy. Good luck on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long flight. Royal correspondent Rob Jobson believes the Windsor's itinerary will include two weeks in Australia next April. Hugely exciting visit, one that probably does mirror um, what happened with Charles and Diana. And if you remember back then, there were massive crowds on the streets in Sydney and in Melbourne and all the places they visited. That visit sparked our love affair with the Queen of Hearts. But following Princess Diana's tragic death in 1997, public feelings towards the royal family were lukewarm. News.com.au commentator Melissa Hoyer. I think Diana's death did put the royals a bit on the nose. We sort of, we wanted to grieve with the rest of the world, but in wanting to grieve with the rest of the world, we also wanted to say, you know, actually we don't want to be a part of this anymore. It's really not us. We are a new, young, relatively fresh country. Let's get on the Republican bandwagon. The man leading that movement right now is Professor Jeff Gallup. Well, we believe that Australia should have its own citizen as our head of state. It's totally inappropriate, really, for our system to be based upon that of another country. But Professor David Flint is a traditionalist at heart, all for the current system. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Still prevails, and I think there's a great love and interest for the monarchy. So how do the rest of us feel? A recent survey of more than a million people found 38% of us are in favour of cutting Australia's ties to the monarchy. And that young people are less likely than over 55 to support a republic. The banking on the young changing and my generation dying off, well it's not going to happen. Younger Australians in particular have become wrapped up in this royal fairy tale. Kate's sapphire engagement ring, once the late Princess Diana's, has sparked a spate of copycats, purchasing rings just like this one. Stuart Bishop from Hardy Brothers Jewellers. Anything that comes up surrounding the royals is, is, is fabulous for us. Big business too for magazine publishers. Aussie covers splashed with images of the glamorous couple. Famous magazine editor Lucy Chesterton. The upcoming royal tour is a cause for huge celebration around Australia. The excitement in the air has people amped up. It's not even happening until April 2014, but people are already plotting and planning about where the royal family will be touching down and the places that they might visit.